Good day, I'm Temba Ngosi. I am the uh, head of uh, corporate affairs for Sibanyo Steel Water. We're here today to do three things mainly. As you all recall, we've had the tragic events of uh, Marikana in 2012, where from the 10th of that week to the 16th, there's been uh, people that had suffered uh, uh, in various shapes and forms, leading to some 44 of our colleagues at the time passing on. We are new owners of uh, uh, Lonmin as of uh, June last year. And when we set ourselves into Lonmin, we've had various engagements uh, with all stakeholders, including the widows uh, of, uh, of the Marikana 44 colleagues that deceased. And uh, as part of the healing enclosure, we actually engaged with them to understand exactly what would take, uh, uh, what do we need to do to assist in the healing enclosure and, and deal with the legacy of, of Marikana and the loss that they'd suffered. And one of the things that were key in that conversation was about getting closure in terms of getting houses and justice. So this is probably chapter one of getting that closure, handing over the houses. So today we'll be handing over six houses to the widows. We have a program where we will be building other houses that will be handing over between now and end of the year to the balance of the beneficiaries. I mean, part of the programs that we've been doing also includes uh, schooling. We are reviewing uh, the schooling prospects of the beneficiaries and that's another intervention that we are going to look at. And I think the last leg of the intervention uh, is to ensure that we deliver the value that we espouse to deliver in terms of our vision, which is basically superior value creation for all our stakeholders. And, and the widows are part of the critical stakeholder groups, uh, the beneficiaries, which are uh, the kids that are beneficiaries of the 1608 Trust are also the second part of that group. We will actually, like as I've explained, review what is the total offering for the schooling curriculum and what can we do to ensure that we create a future for them that is uh, not dependent on us having a successful mine at the time, but they could be independent professionals that can choose a career in mining as a personal choice, not because they have no choice, they have to end up in mining like their parents.